Welcome to Thought for January the 7th. Our readings are Genesis 13 and 14, Psalm 17 and Matthew chapter 9. And our thought is, I shall be satisfied. What satisfies you? Human satisfactions are only temporary. Although something achieved after a big effort like planning and building a new home can provide a sense of satisfaction for several, if not many, years. As we read the Psalms of David and reflect on the record of his life, we see how in his youth he was a sort of outcast from his family. As recorded in 1 Samuel 16 and uh, verse 11 and chapter 17 verse 28. And then being an outcast because of Saul's jealousy. But this was good for David because he learnt to totally rely on his God. His prayers to his Creator were the genuine outpourings of his heart. Look at how today's Psalm 17 starts. Hear a just cause, O Lord. Attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From your presence let my vindication come. David, in shepherding and defending his father's flock, especially at night, more fully sensed and developed utter awe as to what God must be. This led him to compose these words. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? Psalm 8 verses 3 to 4. David had developed an intense awareness and faith in God, so wonderfully evident to others as he went forward in absolute faith to face Goliath. But did many appreciate this? Returning to Psalm 17, we see his prayer is, Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Saviour of those who seek refuge from their adversaries from men of the world whose portion is in this life, verses 7 and 14. We are surrounded by those who see this life as all they have. In most cases, they are not our adversaries, at least not in this country, but how little do we have in common, or should have, with those who are satisfied to see their lives as being totally in this life? However, can we do more to encourage them? to see our existence from David's and our perspective. Finally, look at the last verse. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. Utterly wonderful, beyond our comprehension. Think of meeting David after the resurrection. Ponder prayerfully the prospect of being satisfied in a way that is far, far beyond any comparison with this life. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.